Hey Solos, today we're talking productivity and how to make the most out of your time. Hi Solos, it's the end of a very long day, but I wanted to come to you with a couple of tips. Oh my God, today it felt like the checklist got longer rather than shorter. It seemed like as soon as I did something, 10 more things came to take its place. So like all of you, I'm always looking for ways to optimize my time because as a solo PR pro, time is really valuable. And so you wanna make sure that you're not wasting a lot of time. So one time-saving tip is minimize your distractions. What do I mean by that? Well, studies have shown that a huge part of our workday is actually devoted to communications. So responding to Slack messages and messengers and inboxes and your email. And what that does, it, it actually takes away time from you actually being able to do work. But there's help. So what I do are a couple of things. One, about a year ago, I turned off email notifications. Maybe you've already done that. And I'm not sure why it didn't occur to me a lot sooner. But at one point in time, every single time an email came in, I got the notice. And I guess I felt like I had to, like, oh my God, what if a client needs me? What if something comes up? But I've learned over time that it really is okay to respond to emails at fixed periods in the day rather than immediately. If something is truly urgent and there's a crisis, I promise you that people know how to find you. They will call you, they will text you, and you don't have to worry about it coming only through email. In this entire year of having my notifications off, I haven't lost a client, no one's yelled at me, and it's not caused one single problem whatsoever. So turn those notifications off. Same with you know things like Slack messages. You can set yourself to out of office for periods of the day that allow you to focus. You could even change your status and let people know that you're working on a big project and need the time to focus on that task. Give yourself permission to do that. The other way that I minimize distractions is by actually blocking time in my calendar. So at the top of the week, I sort of review my schedule and look at what I have going on and the tasks that I know I'm going to have to complete. And then I block out chunks of time every single day that allows me to focus. So if I have you know, some thought leadership content that I know I have to produce, then I put some writing time in my calendar. And I set that time so that it automatically declines any meeting appointments or any e meeting requests. So then that protects that block of time for me to get things done. If I need prep time before a big meeting, I just stick that in my calendar as well. And that allows me to not be rushing around 20 minutes before a meeting going, oh my God, you know, I took that phone call, I did this, I did that. If it's in your calendar, it tends to help you to stick to the schedule a little bit better. So that's one thing. The other thing that you can do is try to look at your workflow and look at ways that you can batch like tasks together. So if you have quite a bit of writing to do, do the writing, you know, spend an hour or two or whatever you need during, you know, each workday to just write. And it doesn't have to be, you know, one particular piece, you know, maybe you have several things. Give yourself that time because when you focus on the same type of task, things go a lot faster than trying to switch back and forth. So it's much faster than, you know, writing a piece and then switching over and, you know, analyzing analytics and then, the next thing you do is putting together a report because what happens is that now you're taxing your brain and your brain has to make that mental switch too. And switching from task to task means that you stop in between each task and then it takes time to get focused again. So don't do that. Just group your tasks together so that you can focus on a similar type of task at the same time. Um, so things like, for instance, when I have a lot of pitching to do for campaigns, what I do is I put all of my emails together. So I go through one by one and I go ahead and complete the entire email. I complete the subject line. I complete the reporter's name. I, you know, customize the pitch for the reporter and then I um, put it into 
my, I use this scheduling feature from Gmilius is how I think you say the company's name, but yes, where also has this feature. So any, you know, email um, tool can do this and I will go ahead and complete all of my emails at one time. So I'll sit down and spend the time to do that and then I'll schedule them. So now that's all done and I didn't have to go one by one trying to do it throughout you know, the day when calls are coming in or I'm in between meetings because that takes a lot longer. So I found that that really helps me to just block out a little bit of time, go ahead and batch those tasks together, put all of my pitches together, customize them, do what I need to do, and then schedule them to go out. And then when it's time to follow up, I can block out another chunk of time to do that and I can just hit the phones or I can hit email and send follow-up emails or, um, and do, or do my call downs. And so try to think of ways that you can, you know, again, segment your task and then group things together and where you can devote chunks of time to a single thing because it'll take you a lot less time when you do it that way. Again, start to look at, you know, the things that you do over and over again and start to look at ways that you can remove some of those roadblocks to your own productivity. And the first step is really just being aware of how you're using your day and where that wasted time is coming from. The distractions are the biggest thing. And so if you have a lot of distractions, then you need to have some strategies to minimize those. And trust me, it is possible. You don't have to answer every single phone call immediately. It's okay. People will send you a text or they'll send you a follow-up email. You don't have to, you know, have your meetings scattered. I try to group meetings into two days per week at specific times so that if it's a, you know, a day with a lot of meetings or a half day with a lot of meetings, then I know that I am not going, okay, I'm working on this now and now I have a meeting. Oh, I'm working on this. Now I have another meeting. I like to just sort of line them up, set aside time for that. And then I know, hey, I'm in meetings for the next three hours on this particular day. And that works a lot better for me. Now, of course, we're all individuals and we all work a little bit differently but I've tested a lot of things over the years and some of these tips have really made a change for me and allowed me to actually take weekends off and to have a little bit more balance and not be so burned out. Most importantly, it's allowed me to get things done in a shorter period of time and that leaves time to do things like work on professional development and read books and and focus and sometimes just think. Um, I started building time in my calendar where I can just brainstorm and be creative and think through strategies and tweak things. And that has been a complete game changer. So I'd love to hear about your tips. And I'll also share some resources down in the description. So be sure to check the box below and check out the resources that we have on the Solo PR Pro site. We have done um, time management tips and productivity tips, and I'll also share resources from a couple of other places as well so that you can get your time game together this year and totally win. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with other Solo PR Pros because we're in this together.